Hello everyone, welcome back to another AOK -okay video today. Um, well I must say it's been a long time since I played this game. I think my last open BBE video was um in August. We're back on the northern line as you can see because this is actually one of my favourite lines. I do think that the central line is the best one in terms of detail and the circle line is the best one in terms of graphics and PC. Uh, the northern line is uh, one of the best ones in terms of detail and it has a uh, little dynamic signaling so um i'm looking forward to see how that works um so we're going to be going from kennington to high barnet today and there are a few routes made for the northern line there's one from edgware to morton via bank as well as as well as things like edgware to kennington via charing cross and um today we're going to be doing a service from Kennington to High Barnet. There's actually two trains you can use for the Northern Line. You can use the 1995 unrefurbished or 1995 refurbished, which we're actually using today. I'm back in Open BB, so um, I haven't played Open BB for a long time. So we'll just see how we do today. Uh, we're not going to do anything big like the Central Line. Um, shouts very quickly go to Push the Wayne and Lincoln Yanya. Uh, that's again Bush Dwayne and Lincoln Yanya. Uh, the links and stuff will be down below. Please show them some love. If you want to shout, please subscribe to the um, AOK uh, forms and the links in the descriptions below. Right, let me just turn on the saloon lighting um, with number six. Um, I'm going to also turn on the tail lamps. Um, also, there is like a destination board kind of thing which I'm actually going to go outside and um, do. So this is the exterior camera, this is the track camera, oh no I want the exterior camera, the camera is a bit bulky around here so let me just um, get to there, there we go, right I want to go here, I want to, wait I want to go a bit forward here, I want to turn around here so I can see my train, that is good, okay, um, those are on, are they already on, sorry I must have already turned on it, Headlamps. So we're going to head on it today, so we want to whack on with the destination board. There we go, we just need to score again. There we go. You see our train here? Really, really nicely modelled for open BV kind of level. And you can see it is the um refurbished one which has the blue seating, the blue poles. The only thing that annoys me nowadays is most of the lines don't follow the correct colour scheme. Like I think the refurbished 1996 stock has to emulate the colour of the Jubilee line. Well, the northern line is like dark blue, which is like Piccadilly colour, it's not really black. I think if every um, two train could have the correct bulb colour, that would be really cool. Anyway, let me just get back into the cab so we can set everything up. So let's get the reverse it into boards. Let's get the get out of emergency break would be a good thing. And all the PA announcements are all automatic. I don't need to do anything if I'm right. We can get rid of the timetable with, um, with control T, then it goes into the longer version of the timetable, or if we press it again, it will disappear completely. Right, let's get into the track camera so we can do a nice little um, depart thingy. Um, right, there we go. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your um, North Town Northern Line service to uh, High Barnet Line Charing Cross. And it's now in the start. Please stand by, uh, please stand here at the doors. Thank you. Right. This train is about to depart. Please mind the doors. They do close a little bit slowly, these doors, but if I forgive it, You can see the carriage uh, fade a bit when it goes into the tunnel. That's just how it is with the engine, the graphics engine. There we go. Let's get going. Onto the route we go. You can tell the 1995 stock and the 1996 stock are really different. I mean, they like they sound similar and they look similar. Um, but the sounds like the sounds are so different. Like the 1996. To the 1996 stock just sounds so different um, to the 1995 stock. Like the motor just sounds like a microwave, basically. Um, 
and like it's just so different and i think they used the old style motors on the 1996 dog for when these came out because it's interesting because the 1996 dog is actually older than the 1995 stock. they've actually got an older traction motor traction engine um design than the 1995 stock. it's just that they were made at the same factory so that's why they sound a bit different Next station is Waterloo. Change here for the Bakerloo, Jubilee and Waterloo and City Line. Why do the EPA announcement should be? Yeah. I'm going to skillfully do this. Right, here we go. Beautiful. Also, one thing we could do is I like to go into the first carriage and position my camera in here. So now we've got like a little interior camera and i would recommend the first carriage because if you put it in another carriage uh the camera will move around because it's not static right you can tell the five so different to the 1996 Oh, um, it, it looks similar, but the it sounds like the uh, 455 and stuff. Now, I do believe the next mission is which is very close to one so I'm not going to go too fast. I'm just going to coast in neutral. But there's a million announcement for you, so we don't really need to worry until the announcement goes off. This is, of course, me coasting. Coming in. Perfect. Um, also, I do believe there's a feature where you can like lock the front back doors because I think there's um actually um a couple of stations that are a bit too short for the train where you have to lock the front doors. I think the next station, which is Charing Cross, is one of them. Oh, bit of a dead zone there. We go coming into Charing Cross. Now it said. I'm just going to cut the doors, wait, so it says the front doors won't open. Do you see this carriage? It's faded because it's gone into the tunnel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I do apologise, my uh, my um, lock doors is the same control as the whistle. Right, and now if we open the doors. Nice handiwork, eh? I was just showing you what to do because you will get platforms um, like that, especially with these like Northern Line trains, because the Northern Line is a very short train compared to the Jubilee Line. Uh, because the Northern Line only has six carriages, and while well, the, the stop of the Jubilee Line actually has a set seven carriages. So the Northern Line still six. Um, I mean, there's a C stop, uh, which is like, mightily short compared to the 
for the destock. I mean, that has actually five carriages, so that accommodates uh, multiple multiple carriages. I mean, multiple doors. Um, while these northern line trains have six carriages. Um, so okay, four of these out of the doors for of those. Okay. Right, there we go. Let's get going. So yeah, that was like a nice handy work. That will happen to you if you're playing the Northern Line, Kennington Taiwan. I'm gonna go a little bit slow here because we're coming up to Leicester Square and Charing Cross and Leicester Square quite close I did turn on the saloon lighting anyway. Um, before there was a stand closed, the doors are not closed. I can't remember what it was. Oh yes, mind the doors. Um, so. There we go, there we go. Beautiful. Let's go in. I do love the sounds in Open BB. Like this is one thing. Like I used to play this. I used to spam. I thought it was just. I thought it was so cool to have in this game. I could drive my local line in the game. It was. Just, it was so good. It does. But it's good, you know. I mean, I like it. we go. Let's get back into here. Huge straight. That's fine. Yeah, but it's good this, you know. I mean, I like it. I mean, it's it's nice. Like you can tell. I mean, it is similar. Like you know, the way of the nineteen ninety five similar.
Yep. Going into Wall Street. And which we will get on to. And what I'm going to do with like these lines is I'm going to like a series of them. And uh, what I'm going to do is like with all the London Underground like like lines in the States area, I'm going to do each show first. It will probably be the new train first and then the old train. So I mean that's that's nice. Right, here we go. I always forgot to do our stand the doors announcement. There we go. There we go. Next station is Euston Square. Am I right? Oh, it's just Euston. Euston Square is the subsurface the station I think the surface at East Finchley yeah I think it's East Finchley there we go was good. That was super good. I like doing these like approaches by the doors. They're nice. I mean, sorry, I forgot to do that. There we go. But it's good, like, you know, the detailing. I believe the next station is Morning to Crescent. Morning to Crescent. Oh yeah, love that announcement. Like I read a, like I thought I read some like is that by now, in a way, in the future, when they're trying to boost the capacity and the frequency of Northern Line trains, I think there's a way where they want to... Because, like, right now, the issue uh, with the Northern Line is... But, in essence, it would be better to have two separate lines, not two branches on third. at Kennington which is fine but then some go through I think to Morden well all the bank ones go it's just a mess the northern line's one of the busiest ones in the network but it's such a mess because it has two different branches in the north and then there's two different branches in the centre in the city and then one of the sea that goes down obviously there's a new extension that goes to Battersea via Nine Elms people like I'm assuming I've seen some stuff working with me like the 
that is the extension opens, they're going to have less trains terminating at Kennington, and they're basically just going to make the whole Charing Cross branch just terminate at Battersea all the time, instead of going to Morden, and then the bank ones are basically just going to be just Mordens. Because the kind of thing of the Northern Line, the way to make it more frequent is to just, like, split up the services, basically. Having two branches converge and then meet and then converge and go together, it's just like, like it's a mess essentially. Because like obviously the northern line is not as long as the other trains on the network, um, which is an issue as well. But you can't extend platforms. When you could, you could extend platforms like a huge undertaking, especially extending underground platforms. Overground platforms, that's fine. It So the way to make more trains is just to then make two, two northern lines. The one, like, it's a thing with the northern lines. So, yeah. idea because um it would definitely like like this northern line is like like I've, I've like 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 going on the northern line um like like I I don't go on the north I've only been on the northern line a few times like but when I have like like I use the city branch more than the the, the Charing Cross branch and the city branch is packed to death. Ooh. I'd never felt more like a sardine in a tin than going on the Northern Line train. It's actually, like, unthinkable. Like, how many people are actually on top of me, underneath me, next to the side of me, on top of my head? Like, like, the, 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 like me and the door were almost having a hug. That's how bad it was. But then I'd rather be next to the door than, than in the middle or in the seat or something like that. Because when you need to get off, like the bad thing when you're in Rush Hour the Nine is you need to get off at a station, which nobody else needs to get off at because then you'll literally have to mangle your way through a zoo, essentially, to get to the exit. Well, if everyone is getting off a congested station, that's fine. There's a flow of people coming out. But if no one's getting off and you're there, like, the, the door's only a couple of metres away for that. feels like the longest couple of metres in your life. Right, I presume the next station is Kentish Town. I did hear something at Canton Town about the doors. So, yeah. Oh, I think it was at Canton Town, okay. To Kentish Town. Now, is that good? Because I did hear something. Oh, my doors were locked. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Oh, it was at Camden Town. All right, then. Fly by Cam. Oh, departure Cam. How do I, like, I'm pretty, mm, I, I can't remember what the reset button is. Someone will probably tell me down below. Trouble is, I can't do a flyby because if I get the train moving, then we'll follow the train. Annoyingly. But I like the refurbishment. They've taken the buttons and stuff. They've taken the buttons and they've put little indicator things there. Like you have on the, um, 
new Victoria line now. And the, I think on the, the like like I think I think on the uh, I think on the 2009 stock they had the them buttons. do anything about it or oh, no I think they put like a black bump on a black okay to stick is there but they did go for like the silver pole to go with the jubilee line like I like I mentioned this in my like um, in my uh, in my videos before like okay so the Bakerloo line is, I mean, correct with the correct um whole uh bold color stuff. Um, uh, it's sort of correct because it has some light blue, but then it also has dark blue, which is the line. With I don't know if we were ever going to use two thousand lines. On the Piccadilly line, oh, they were saying they were, but it would be called a 2014 stock. Um, so similar to the 2009 stock. Um, not because it has yellow poles for some reason. I think it only has a bit of blue. Yellow poles, and then you have the Northern Line, which isn't. They have the subsurface stock, which is all yellow, and that pretty make uh, that pretty much makes sense to me. It would just be um, too confusing to have like, like, um, like, like different colour poles in the air stock. Um, like they could get it for the metro. I understand why they kept all yellow there. on the deepest underground station which is high no it's not yet it is high gate or oh, it's Hampstead so that's Hampstead um which is the deepest underground station on the network so that's on the edge ed 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 branch so if you so if you didn't know Hampstead is the deepest underground station on the network but Next station is Highgate, which you would like for Highgate Village. Very lovely gated communities in Highgate. Like I remember once I was popping one of my brother's friends off in Highgate and he and um and he lived in I was very jealous, I wanted to go and live there for the weekend. And you'd think no sort of crime would happen there. Like if a leaf changed the wrong colour, that would be like literally the worst thing that could happen in the entire gated community because it's just all quiet, like it's all relaxing and stuff like that. So, um, uh, yeah, that would be bad. I do believe Highgate is our last underground station, guys. This is actually a, lot, a long platform, I think. I think, I think this is a very long platform. Yeah, look at that. You see, like, some of these, like, 
subsurface platforms. And it's especially the ones like above surface, like are actually long, so it accommodate accommodate multiple carriages. Like it's the ones like like the like, um, the southern stations, like especially like seeing here at Clapham where they had those um dual island, no single island platforms, like the only ones on the network. Those are the ones. Those are the issues because those are the ones that can only accommodate length of train. Where you have like some of these northern line stations, can definitely accommodate seven, even eight carriage trains. Here we go. I was just slotting here into this first carriage. <laughs> Now, I do believe East Finchley is above ground, so say goodbye to the tunnel shortly and say hello to the, you know, the outside world. Hit my hand! Oh my goodness, that hurts so much, Jesus! I don't know which branch would be busier. Like, I guess the Edgware branch would be because I think it's slightly longer than the Barnet branch. District of the city. The city branches will be equally as packed. Cause obviously, bank is in the city, so you're going to get a lot of people shuffling around from bank. But then you have the Charing Cross, which goes like near Trafalgar Square, Charing Cross, and all that. So I don't know. We're outside, guys. This station is East French Lane. This train terminates at High Barnet. This station is East French Lane. Change here, right. Um, can I like, can I like get a screenshot here? You see, so like, these stations are a bit like messed up because the text is meant to be made like one way round. So this is made for the um other way. Um, okay. And um, by the way, like, like, there's sparks and stuff on the station, which looks a bit cool. Can I do a flyby cam? No, I can't. Let's go to the outside. <laughs> Got a lot of people um, trying to contact me, but I don't know. In front of me, this flash, and then I'm just there we go. It's like, like it's all nice. I, I can't see a problem with this. Nice and obviously this is after the refurbishments.
you get these, like um static trains. Pretty sure they're just the unrefurbished um, ones. See, like it looks like they're moving because we're going past them, but actually they're just static. There we go. Next station is Simply Central, where I guess you can change for the Mill Hill East branch. There we go. Up here we go to Mill Hill East and take the lovely tracks to the right. Okay, I uh, can't even get a nice screenshot here. Let's go to the back of the plane. Maybe this one look good. Um, yeah, actually, I mean. Uh, Look, I'm uh, like with the train sneaking up. Yeah, I suppose that would look good. Right. Uh, right, I'm gonna try and get into a into a carriage here. Probably the first one. Oh, the camera's bouncy, isn't it? There's a lot of tangent here. to our next station. actually have left let's see uh oh, i can't open the timetable and it's doing oh i can um all right woodside park and waterridge totteridge totteridge and wellstone whetstone <laughs> that's very never been there before but um been to hide barnet There we go. But 
it's goodness. I mean, I am enjoying this. Like, it's good. The scenery is good. Everything. So I pump. That, ladies and gentlemen, that was on the money. That was an excellent stop. Right, can we even get a... Maybe that'll do. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. A good screenshot for the fun now because it's got all of our training. There we go. Uh, yep. Go. Yeah, but I don't know if the northern line's gonna get extended anytime soon. Um, I know, I know the Bakerloo line's getting going to get extended in the show me. Uh, but I don't know about the northern line. The northern line's pretty big already, so I don't know if it needs extending. As I say, the aim is to split the Charon and the Bank from. Best not make them go together because when they go together, like out of mess basically, and that's not what we want, is it? So um yeah, uh, we need to pick them up and make sure they they're uh, they're separate. Um obviously there's a new the new Battersea Park new Battersea Power extension Battersea Power Park extension uh, that is obviously going to help everything. But I, my advice would would still be to not make the Charon and the Bank branch go together. I mean, it's just a mess. Like, like, but, I mean, like, 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 that'll be okay. There we go. This station is Western. This train terminates at Saigon. I do like it. Mm. Sorry about that. I do like it when it's like, like a station has two names like that. Um, like, it's nice. Uh, I like it. Um, right, let's... There we go, let's get going. Work station, sadly, is quite boring. I'm very sad about that. But yeah, guys, I have enjoyed this. I will link down below all the lines I've got in the States area um, for this I, there's, um, I do have the Bakerloo line and there's a Piccadilly version that, I have that sort of works there's a Metropolitan line one but that one's a bit broken and then I don't know I'll just revisit some other stuff all the links and stuff I mean even though this is my first video Um, I don't know, it might be on the district There we go. Uh, 
like this tree like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm liking this. It's definitely worth trying. stuck there. Alright, let me just try and get a, a nice screenshot for the thumbnail. How about that? Yeah. Maybe a bit backwards, maybe. Yeah, beautiful. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed uh, my first video on the Northern Line. This is my first video. Um, and I really do hope you've enjoyed. See, there's the old Northern Line. And yeah, I really do hope you've enjoyed it. And um, I will do more episodes. Shouts in this video go to Bush Wayne and Lincoln Yanya. That's again Bush Wayne and Lincoln Yanya. The links and stuff will be down below. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.